Introducing six recommended dishes. Sukiya. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Sukiya, a beef bowl restaurant. Sukiya is the number one beef bowl chain in Japan in terms of numbers of stores. I will try six kinds of classic beef bowls and the latest dishes. I'll also show you some of the recommended toppings, so please stay tuned. Now, let's get started. Here we are at Sukiya. Sukiya was founded in 1982 and has a history of 40 years. Besides Japan, Sukiya has also expanded to China, Thailand, Brazil, and other countries. Recently, they introduced touch panels. They also support English, Chinese, and Korean. Let's start with the standard beef bowl. It has a nice aroma of beef bowl sauce. Sukiya's beef bowl has a sweeter flavor than other restaurants. I'm so happy that it's cheap but satisfying to eat. Sukiya's beef has more lean meat than fat and is very elastic. The crispy texture and sweetness of the onions are a nice accent. The rice is soaked in beef bowl sauce. The juicy meat and rice go great together. It's delicious as it is, but let's top it with some red ginger. Red ginger is ginger marinated in plum vinegar. The crunchy texture and sourness of the beef bowl makes it a refreshing taste. In addition to red ginger, I also recommend adding shichimi. The sweet sauce is combined with spicy and citrus aromas for a refreshing taste. Please give it a try. Our most popular topping is cheese. They use a combination of Egmont cheese, mozzarella, and red cheddar. Smells so good with cheese. The cheese melted on the warm beef bowl is irresistible. The rich and creamy taste is so addictive. Then I will introduce the next dish. The second dish I'd like to introduce is the tuna seafood bowl. It's a bowl of rice topped with finely chopped tuna and a spicy sauce with gochujang. Let's break open an egg and separate the yolk from the white. Put only the yolk on top of the tuna and it's done. Beautiful looking seafood bowl. The tuna is fatty and creamy. The spicy sauce goes great with the tuna. Break open the yolk and eat. When yolk is added, the spiciness of gochujang becomes mellow. It tastes so rich. Next up is the ginger pork set meal. It comes with rice, miso soup, and kimchi. Smells so good with ginger. Let's start from the miso soup. Sukiya's miso soup has the sweetness of soybeans. It has a gentle taste. The kimchi is not too spicy. It's spicy enough for kids to eat. The pork is fatty and juicy. The ginger and garlic flavor is very good. I love the texture of the onions. Sukiya's rice is a mixture of three different kinds of Japanese rice to go with the meat. Let's eat it on top of rice. The sweet sauce soaks into the rice. I could eat rice endlessly with this meat. I also recommend eating kimchi and meat together. It's an addictive taste with the addition of spiciness. 
The fourth dish is curry. It was renewed in December 2021 and topped with bone in chicken. I love the spicy flavor. It also comes with onions pickled in vinegar and fukujin zuke. Sukiya's curry is a blend of over 20 kinds of spices. It contains onions, minced meat, and tomatoes and is rich. It has a rich flavor that goes great with rice. It's not too spicy, so even kids can eat it. The chicken is huge. It also has bones and is luxurious. It's steamed slowly, so it's very tender. It's juicy and spicy. The fat from the chicken adds to the roux and makes it taste even richer. Well then, let's move on to the next dish. The fifth one we are going to eat is the beef kalbi bowl. The beef is grilled with a sweet sauce and served on rice. You can smell the sweet sauce. The beef is tender and melts in your mouth. The fat from the beef spreads in your mouth. I can eat the rice soaked in the sweet sauce endlessly. The green onions and sesame seeds add a nice accent. It's delicious as it is, but let's top it with green onions and eggs with gochujang sauce. The sweet and spicy green onions and egg yolks go great with beef. The yolk makes the beef creamier and tastier. Plenty of crunchy green onions for a nice crunchy texture. It's thicker than a beef bowl, so I recommend it to those who like strong flavors. The last dish I'm going to eat is unagyu, a combination of eel and beef bowl. The sweet aroma of the eel sauce is amazing. By the way, the eel menu is only available for a limited time every year. It'll be on sale this year from April until around the end of the year. What a luxury to have a beef bowl with eel. The rice is soaked in the sweet sauce. I'm surprised that the sauce alone makes the rice taste so good. The eel is plump and melts in your mouth. It's so fatty too. The charred eel is so fragrant and goes great with the rice. I also recommend putting sancho. It adds a fresh spiciness and a gorgeous aroma to the dish, making it even more appetizing. Beef and eel together is incredibly delicious. You should definitely try it. Sukiya has a lot more to offer than just beef bowls, so you'll never get bored no matter how many times you come back. If there's a restaurant you'd like me to introduce, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel too. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.